All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect 1. Last we left off, we found this guy getting all frisky with a creeper, and we probably should stop him before he accidentally blows something the fuck up. Turban, what the hell are you doing? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Yeah, why are you following the Keepers? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. And why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Okay. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Uh, I am Commander Shepard. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. So what, what are the scans for, though? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. All right. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay. Well, I guess I can scan that one. I saw a couple up here. I mean, but also, scanning or not doesn't mean you need to to just like get all up in it. In it. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the council? Maybe the council does know. Okay, so gossip about Saren's going around. Good, as it should. We all know he's a piece of shit. Uh, what's over here? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Alright, let's talk to the rear admiral. No. However the hell I you say his last com name. Commander. Oh, okay. Commander. All right. Off we go. Oh, Shepard's fatigued. Traveled real fast. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yeah, no. So does like every character with some sort of a generic voice. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? It's a keeper. Please do not disturb the keepers. I'm not. I scanned it though. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Wait. Please do not okay. disturb the keepers. So I guess I scan it and then I can examine it afterwards. Preaching Hanar. Scan it and... I can talk to the Hanar. What's up, buddy? What's going on? 
Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What are you talking about? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Meaning? Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Really? Interesting. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Well, if you're, if you're, it's different if you're discussing religion with somebody, but if you're just standing here spouting like, for example, Bible verses, that is preaching. So you're breaking the law by oh, preaching without it. a permit right now? This one humbly submits that it is not preaching. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Not if it's like a five dollar permit to stand there and talk. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Because you, like even now, you gotta get a permit to actually like hold a protest. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Um... Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Right. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Okay. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. Why don't you just... buy the permit and give it to him? If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, but what... What what do you what kind of truth? You're just Okay, they they allowed you to speak. What what's the point? Okay? <laughs> Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Well, A, no, they're dead. They're very clearly dead. They would rather be alive. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. They also very clearly didn't give a shit about any of us. Because, 
If y'all remember Javik from Mass Effect 3, they don't, they, no, they hate all of us. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. I mean, it's sort of like if we started worshipping ne well, not exactly, but Neanderthals. A dead species that doesn't give a shit that we exist. Oh my god, why can I, why can I take out the gun? So this goes over here. That's to the Emporium, which I do need to stop at. And that's Bar Levon, who I do need to talk to. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Is that that's Shepard? Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> no, I don't need directions. I know where I'm going. I'm trying to sprint. Running around the citadel is just a little bit slow. Transport. Okay, so I think that's Barlevan's place. Yes, I need to to sell some stuff here for a second. Hold on. Commander. Yeah, yeah. I want to buy your something. items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, Standard. human. You will. Um. Sell. Sell. Junk. Did it. Yes, did it, did it sell? I guess it did. Okay. Bar Levon! Let's have another chat, my friend. You're just a lovely, multifaceted character. Is there anything I can do for you today? Commander. Yeah, I need, uh, I need your help. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Uh, can we make a deal? What's the cost? Start talking. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Uh, That's not else? much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. What's he doing there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Csec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Uh, let's ask about the Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. But my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power, 
All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Interesting. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Okay, well let's just say he has a significantly organized data network, but you're also his agent. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I mean, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But let's go to, uh... Let's go to C-Sec. That's the words over there, I think. Uh, is this Shaira's place? I can take the rapid transport. Okay, so what is it technically in the wards then? Chorus Den. Okay, I guess I gotta walk. This is not a bridge, but this is. Once we're down and around here, we're good. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Oh my god, this music. I love it. And there's the crow Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Bar Levon said to talk to you. Bar Levon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. All right, Rex. How so? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? Or let me guess. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Really? Yeah, big mistake. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. 
Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Okay, so we're gonna go with Rex and Ashley. All right, so at the med clinic, I think we can talk to Garrus first. Let's let's take uh let's just go straight to the wards. Did we come down this elevator? Or was it I think it was this one? A Solarian excavation team has run into an oh. unexpected problem <laughs> after unearthing a Prothean okay. dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I'm stuck like this. I can't even move. There we go. Alright, so I know the wards are somewhere around... Nope. God damn it. I'm so used to this being a, a map button. Rapid transport. Vina, Consort's Chambers, where are the wards? East of Citadel Tower. I guess maybe over here? Yep, this way. That's the tower there. I think. I can't actually see because of the sky bridge, but I think so. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan walking around up here. Not if they just immediately took you to seasick. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. That's racist, Ashley. The fuck's wrong with you? Why am I running like I got a rifle in my hand? It's about normal for a human soldier's tour of duty, Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. him down here he always stops in for a few games of quasar before he makes his drop fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier oh fist is gonna be dead pretty soon anyway so i don't think he's really gonna care that much another elevator i'm surprised you're willing to fight krogan rex i thought you would stand with your own Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Well, I'm glad to hear it, big man. What's in here? OK. 
Okay. Med clinic. Emily Wong. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Uh, what do you need? Have the investigations linked? By me? Source of information? You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. Okay. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Understood. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Right. Alright. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay. That worked. What's through here? There's a market. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this pot. Look. Best. Conrad Werner. Hello. Hello, Captain, Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I mean, probably. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Sure. Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Wait. Why would your wife be impressed? <laughs> you just... I mean, okay, Shepard's basically a superhero, but... Why? <laughs> Excited, maybe, but impressed is kind of a stretch, don't you think? Here's the medical clinic. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Okay, nice shot, Garrus. Right, there's more. We're clear. Area secured. All right, I think we're good. Garrus Vicarian, hello. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. 
You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. All right, let's do it. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Oh, we're going to hit him all right. We're going to destroy him. Let's go. The boys are back in town. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. What does she sell? Oh, armor upgrades? Alright, maybe later. That says to the academy, don't want to go there. Presidium. I saw Chorus Den somewhere. Find him and hit him fast so he doesn't get a chance to escape. It's a dark corner. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Okay, he's a little, little jittery. Turian, Turian, Quarian, Quarian. Turian. Mostly Turian armor. Dennis through here. Looks like it shut down. Fist knows we're coming. God, I hate it. Right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Get out of here. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Yeah, you didn't just hear all the shooting that happened and three of us came through the door? It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. This is true. Okay, 
This door is clear. That door is locked. Oh shit. Get the other. Hold the line. Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender. Smart move. Need information. Start talking. Tell me where the quarryan is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait! Wait! I don't know where the quarryan is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Yeah, let's move. If you feel lucky, you should visit the casino and in flux. Oh, we got three minutes. Okay. Oh. Right through here. No, open the damn door. Back alleys. So which which way? This way? This looks like an alley. I don't know. Tally. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. That's our tap. What the hell just happened? Oh. I knew I couldn't trust him. You all right? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. 
We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. A uh, pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Uh, a value like what? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Okay, continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Oh, uh, Reapers, what are they? Reapers sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Uh, they need to know. Well, well, they believe it. Don't tell them. Why would we not tell them? The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Sounds good. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. Do I... Uh, let's go, Garrus. I don't want to head to the tower just yet. Haven't, uh, probably haven't seen the last of them. Deliver the information. 
Okay, gotta go back to Emily Wong. Scan the keepers, 9 out of 20. Speak to John. He's at Cora's Den. Alright, so we got a few things to do. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Hold on. You spare a moment of your time? I can, but in a moment, I want to see something. Son of Dantius. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. You're just here, just cuz. Alright, well let's talk to uh I didn't I didn't see his name, so. Some mesh. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard? My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's fine. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. All right, I'll talk to somebody. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Oh, okay. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. So the embassy's bar? So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Yeah, I'd imagine that would happen with a tight-knit community. Although I'm surprised there aren't, like, quarry and enclaves on the Citadel. I know why, but still. It's kind of weird. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. I am? Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So, is she toxic? You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Wait a minute. How long is it going to take? How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. So, after decomposition... You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. I mean, sure, but the Geth have attacked a lot of places. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. And, and one... And one uh... And one body isn't going to hamper research that much. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, and I would agree with you if it was just one body that you had, but you've st stated you got more than one. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Sounds good. Sounds very good. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course you wouldn't. What do you want? 
Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okay. This place seems strange. I mean, that's. I kind of guess that's why uh, you, sir, have like the equivalent of a bowl cut on the top of your head. But it's it's not because it's they built a lake on a space station. Ish. I can't even imagine the resources. It's weird. It's weird as shit. I don't like it. It's probably just the old graphics. Though. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. All right, now we need to... Okay, we're gonna need to talk to Emily and then we'll head to the tower. was this way, right? <sighs> yep, right over here. Miss Wong! Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Sounds good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I do believe the other rapid transport thing was over here, because it's where we popped out at. Uh, uh, there's the tower. Okay, so. When we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we will speak to the council and see what's up. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. Follow me on all the socials, which are down in the description of every fucking YouTube video I ever have. And I will see you all in a moment.